want to like to pull back for what we call in television the wide shot of where we are now. We, you know, we're obviously in a period uh, of transition. My own opinion is when it comes to journalism, we are in what the Catholic Church calls an interregnum, which is to say the old order is gone or quickly going. The new order is not yet in place. So we're in an interregnum period. It's a dangerous period uh, for American journalism. I've said before and repeat here that I don't think it's uh, too strong to say that American journalism is in a crisis. Uh, some aspects of that crisis have been touched on here. Uh, lack of backbone on our own part, uh, lack of guts, grit, um, and I do not accept myself from that, that criticism. Uh, and, but while crisis may be overworked, in, particularly in journalism and with journalists such as myself, I, I think it's apt in this case. I want to pause and say that um, I recommend to you two books. I promised myself I'd do this right off the bat. I do not have a financial interest in either one of these books, but if you want a, a, a coherent and cogent analysis and some suggestions about where we may be going once the interregnum period is finished, uh, I could recommend uh, Losing the News by Alex Jones, and then a book I just finished uh, a few days ago, The Death and Life of American Journalism by John Nichols and Robert McChesney. Uh, Nichols and Ms. Chesney are uh, associated with The Nation magazine. Uh, I don't agree with everything in these books, but I did find them touching off new sunbursts of thought. So uh, I broke my sentence in my paragraph, but getting right out front, that if you want to think about this in a, some meaningful way and have some new ideas bounce through, some of which you agree with or not, I recommend those two books. And some of what I came prepared to say tonight obviously comes out of my recent reading of these two books. We're talking about American journalism being in crisis. Uh, in my mind, there is a, a, a genuine crisis in American journalism. Uh, in my opinion, it is uh, not one of press bias. Uh, there certainly is some press bias, and I have no argument with those who want to make, say, the crisis is really about bias. But in my judgment, it's not one of press bias. Uh, that is how many people view it. Uh, it's a crisis of diminishing quantity and quality diminishing quality journalism of integrity. It's also a crisis of uh, morale and a sense of values and leadership among journalists themselves, and perhaps more importantly, but at least just as importantly, those who own and control the major distribution uh, of news in this country. Uh, I think it's also, uh, all of this is taking place in a, in a maelstrom of economic change and technological change, new technologies. Certainly the internet and digital technology have sent the news business, uh, not alone, but they've sent the news business into uh, a, a period of frenzy, might be too strong, of rethinking. Uh, it's rethinking an upheaval of what I think and some of the authors that I referred to believe it's an upheaval in American journalism and the way American journalism serves the American people of historic proportions. And the outcome of how it's going to go remains very much in doubt. Uh, things that are precious, uh, the value of checking, rechecking, fact checking, uh, such things as vertical reporting as opposed to broad horizontal reporting, digging deep, deep, deep down in, uh, investigative reporting, uh, that some of these precious things of, in American journalism uh, may be lost or uh, badly damaged as we move into whatever the new world is. And there'll be new things that are marvelous, certainly will emerge. Uh, but what is certain is that the old media world is being transformed. It's collapsing uh, in some respects. And the new media world will be different for better or for worse, and I suspect uh, some of each of those. I don't want to be misunderstood here about the web, that good journalism on the web is a, is a marvelous thing and added value for American citizens in getting news and information. Um, there's a lot on the web that isn't journalism and doesn't pretend to be, and I don't have any argument with that. But you know, one of the questions as we move forward is how do we maximize the leverage we have with the whole new medium of the internet and the web? How do we maximize it 
uh, to our mutual benefit as citizens. It's good for other things. It's good for entertainment. It's good for gossip. It's good for a lot of things. But in terms of meeting the responsibilities of a constitutional republic based on the principles of freedom and democracy, meeting that the press mission of an informed citizenry so the citizenry can, can make, make their decisions about where they want the country to go uh, is something that I think is at risk as we move into this uh, new world of the web. But you know, look, just think for a moment. I know you know these things, but sometimes we can stop and review that all the tools that the web uh, offers, you have words, sound, links, video, limitless data, uh, search graphics, interactivity, all of those things. Uh, and they, they have produced uh, a, an interesting and I think uh, dangerous uh, bit of turmoil, not just bit turmoil, of creative journalism thinking. And as we look toward the future, what's needed, what's so desperately needed, is creative thinking about how to leverage this new, still new thing, still unexplored continent for the most part of the web and the internet, and how to do that without um, censoring it in some way, to keep it free, uh, to keep it free and in terms of journalism, independent, truly independent, fiercely independent when necessary, uh, of uh, what I consider to be the great dangers that have come to fore in journalism as we have known it in the last 15, 20 years, which are the gigantic corporatizing of news, the partisan politicizing of news, and the trivializing, the trivialization of news. These have been the things that have been eating away at the core of the kind of quality journalism and integrity that we badly need.